Hey class, and welcome to the Venn Diagrams tutorial, and we're going to be comparing polyg polygons using Venn Diagrams. Well, why Venn Diagrams? They're visual for us to compare two or more different concepts or ideas. We can see the differences. So when we actually start placing the information into the Venn Diagram, we can actually just visually see, just based upon where they are, uh, all the differences between the polygons, so we don't actually have to say too much because it's kind of visually there for us to see. In this case, we're going to be comparing two and only two sets of information or attributes because we only have two circles. If we had three, then we could add another one in there, but we only have two, so we're just going to compare two attributes of the polygons. So as you can tell, I shaded or I colored in this section yellow and for this particular Venn diagram, that means that everything in the yellow is going to match whatever this criteria is, which I've also highlighted yellow. So everything in this area has to have at least one right angle. On this side, which I've shaded blue, has to match whatever's in this criteria. In this case, it's all sides equal. So everything has to have all sides equal. Everything in the middle, which is shaded green, which you get yellow and blue, make green. Everything in the middle has to fit both criteria or sets of information. In this case, it has to have at least one right angle, and the polygon has to have all sides equal as well. Last but not least, if it doesn't match either this set of information or criteria, or this one, it's going to fit outside. So anything that doesn't have at least one right angle or all sides equal will be placed outside of the circles because it doesn't match any of the criteria. So let's try it out. I've drawn pictures. I've drawn pictures over here that kind of match, just so that I can have a visual to look at while I try to sort these polygons. So here we go. The equilateral triangle. Okay. The equilateral triangle over here. Well, it doesn't have at least one right angle. They're all acute, and all sides are equal. Right. So we're going to place it into this section because it has all sides equal. The square. Well, the square has well, it does have at least one right angle, has four, and all sides are equal. So they match both yellow and blue. So yellow and blue make green, so I'm going to place it right in the middle. The rectangle, the rectangle has at least one right angle. It has four, and all sides are not equal. These two are longer, so I'm going to place it in, well, all sides are not equal, not both, but has at least one right angle, so there. The obtuse triangle, the obtuse triangle does not have at least one right angle. There are no right angles. If there was a right angle, it'd be called a right triangle. Uh, all sides are not equal as well in an obtuse triangle, so I'm going to place it on the outside. Let's place it here, because it doesn't match either this criteria or this criteria. The rhombus, the rhombus is here. Uh, in a rhombus, well, it doesn't have one right angle because these are acute and these are obtuse, so no right angles, but all sides are equal in a rhombus, so I'm going to place it here. A right triangle, or a right angle triangle, well, it's appropriately, appropriately named, so it has one right, tri right angle right here, and all sides are not equal in a right triangle. This side is always longer. You'll learn about that later, the hypotenuse. So the right angle, right triangle is going to go in this section. Not all sides equal, but has one right angle. Last but not least, the regular octagon. The regular octagon, does it have at least one right angle? No, all the angles are actually obtuse. Are all sides equal? Well, yeah, because it's in the name, actually, the regular octagon. A regular octagon has to have all sides equal because it's regular. And so we'll place it there. And so there you go, uh, just a quick step-by-step -step tutorial of how a Venn diagram works. You don't always have to have, I'm just using these two for an example. We could have put down has at least three sides here and maybe has uh, all acute angles. You can mix and match whatever attributes you want to place here and then you can resort them out as you wish. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how the circles match and how they work and where you place them and the ideas of where you place them. And there we have it, 80 under 5 minute tutorial on Venn diagrams.